Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So for those that don't know me very well, I'm also kind of a computer nerd too, not just into action figures. So I was gonna upgrade my Alienware computer. I got this really cool um, Alpha R2 Alienware. And uh, for my birthday, I got this really cool hard drive. And I thought, you know what? It was such a pain to get all the parts together to install this, I thought I'd make a live video. So what the heck? So I'm gonna make a live video on how to install this now that I've got everything together. So first thing is you flip over your Alienware. There are four screws you need to remove. And uh, they're located here, here, there, and there. This is the front of the Alienware right here. Now when you first take these screws off, you wanna make sure you push really hard um, to have the screwdriver seat completely and then turn, otherwise you'll end up stripping out the top of the, the screw. Now, if you try to take these number two screwdrivers, number two screwdriver or standard one to do this, it will not fit all the way deep into the bottom of the hole sometimes. So it is kind of a tricky call. So you may want to use a smaller screwdriver to get in there. All right. Now, of course, the trick is to not lose these four screws. All right, now that I have my four screws out, turn it back to the front, and then of course your front of your Alienware is right here. Gently pull off the cover. You wanna be careful because you don't wanna cause any static or anything, so do this very carefully. And there we go, there's that beautiful machine. Now mine's a little dusty inside. So I may have to clean that later, but for right now, I'm just gonna show just the part of the installation of the hard drive. So like always, make sure you get yourself a wrist strap, make sure it has the protection of the correct resistor inside of it so you don't get shocked. You wanna make sure you don't ruin the equipment and you wanna make sure you don't ruin yourself. You always hook it to the frame to protect it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna remove this CPU fan right here. So let me take a look so you guys can see this a little better. So right in here is where we're gonna install the hard drive. See that screw? Hole right there, that's where it's going to go, is right in that spot. So, to get there, we're going to pull off the CPU fan, pinch, and pull it right off. There is a wire in there, so be careful that you don't uh, pull too hard. And let me just go ahead and uh, show you where it's going to go. You can see there's some RAM right here. I have to pull that RAM out, and then right in this spot, right in there, is where we're going to put that new drive, and it's going to screw into that hole. So, to remove this RAM, let me put my camera back up there. You first need to pop the RAM by popping the two sides and it will pop up at 45 degrees. Now you can either leave it in there, which is what I'm going to do, or you could pull it out and put it somewhere safe. But I'm going to go and just leave it in there because now there's enough room and you'll see just barely gave me enough extra room to get that drive slid in to that spot right there. And that's all we need is a little bit of clearance to get that in there. All right, so let me go ahead and open up this drive. Really cool drive I got for, like I said, for my birthday from my wife and my youngest son. And there it is. Look at that awesome little drive. Now, the problem I had with this drive was uh, getting the screw to fit in there because um, one of the issues is uh, there's no screw that came with the drive. And not only there's no screw that came with the drive, there's no screw already in the hard drive for it. When you do this, you want to lay it in here very carefully. And you want to lay it in here flat and then slide it in to the spot that it goes in. Right there. So lay it flat and slide it right in there. Perfect. And now you can see, let me zoom this right up so you can see what I'm talking about. I now need to put that screw in that hole right there. 
So I went on Amazon and I ordered a screw set. There it is. And um, unfortunately it also comes with the standoffs that I don't need, but it comes with the screws and a cool little screwdriver. So let's go ahead and uh, do that step. And for those that are watching this video not live, feel free to fast forward as needed to get the parts you need to see how to install this from scratch. So let's go ahead and pull out my miniature screwdriver that it came with. And luckily it came with more than one set, so in case things go wrong and I drop something, I have two to, to monkey with. And again, it comes with the standoff and the screw. All I need is the screw. Now I went to computer store to computer store to find these and every single place told me that I can't buy them online, can't find them anywhere. Like I said, Amazon, they had 24 of them for sale for $10 or this little set right here that I got um, as well. So pretty inexpensive. Now, you'll notice the screw driver does not stay in there very well and it's gonna fall and it's gonna end up being stuck on my hard drive there. So I'm gonna grab some uh, poster putty and I'm gonna put it on the screwdriver. I should have probably did that ahead of time. I'll be right back. Oh. All right, I got my poster putty. It's a little chunk right here. Luckily I had something on the wall that was using it. And you just take a little piece of this and you put it on your screwdriver. This will make it so the screw will stick on there so you don't drop it in the circuit board. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. I've seen other people use like uh, super glue. Um, that works too, but then of course you have the super glue res um, residue on the end of your screwdriver forever. So let's go ahead and uh, push this in there and screw it on in. Look at that. So let me show you. So you can see I just put that screw in there and now I can now press, push this ram back down into place and that's it. Put the cooling fan back on for the CPU. Make sure it's lined up correctly. And that's set up. And now to turn it back over and put the four screws back in. Now, I'm not going to show that because I want to actually uh, take and um, get the air or the, all the dust out of here. But that, those are the steps. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I helped somebody out there with the same dilemma I had. Remember, um, if you buy one of these drives, buy the screws on Amazon ahead of time so you're not stuck waiting for them to come or having to pay extra for them to come in the mail or to come earlier. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.